Hi everyone, Hi. it's Kira here and I'm joined with me for our last Strong Mind session. I can't believe that, that we've had such a lovely, enjoyable journey so far. Just a reminder for everybody who doesn't know what Strong Mind is. Well, Strong Mind is a special Olympics initiative and it helps you learn different ways to handle your emotions and your feelings. That could be positive, it could be a sad time, it does not matter because we want to try and help people have that path to becoming more positive, especially during lockdown and when we can go back into training, which we don't know when that is. But today we're focusing on a team and what a team means to me, what a team means to you and what a team means to me. And, it's not, and I know it's going to be difficult, but when we can go back to training, it is important to keep remembering to bring this positivity going, even when lockdown finishes. But until then, we need to follow Special Olympics International guidelines and also our government guidelines to tell us when we can come for training and when, obviously, at the moment, we can't at the moment. But just to let you guys understand a little bit more where we're coming with, with that. So what is a team? So Neve, please could you bring up the slide with an example of what a team means to me? A team means together. Everyone achieves more by supporting each other. And it's really important to remember that a team is three or four people, or it could be two people. But it's about working together and trying to find different ways to help each other. But Neve, what do you think is a team? Yeah, I agree. It's definitely working together and it's uh, more than one people working together on a common, uh, a common goal or a common cause. And it's about respecting each other and uh, respecting everybody's feelings, everybody's emotions and working together uh, towards uh, achieving something. And I I love that last one. It is about supporting each other. And I think we need to support each other. Your team could be as well. It could be a sports team. It could be like the people around you at home, your family. There's teams everywhere. And um, yeah, it's all about being together and supporting each other and respecting each other. Excellent. But well, what sport do you do, Neve? And are you a part of the team? Yeah, I'm a part of uh, quite a few teams. So I am part of the Special Olympics West Midlands ski team. I'm a volunteer on that. And um, yeah, we've got a wonderful team of athletes and volunteers and coaches and family members. And my husband is part of that team as well. He's an instructor. And my little girl, Arwen, who's only three, she's part of that team too. She comes to all our sessions and she, she cheers and supports everybody. And uh, yeah, is our little mascot. So yeah, I'm part of the ski team. And then I'm part of a, a fitness team as well that I do. And we've been uh, still coming together online during lockdown and uh, working out together and helping each other through this uh, hard time and supporting each other. That's lovely to hear that you know the whole family can get involved that it's not just down to one person it's like it's available for everybody to have a go as well but no thank you for sharing that positive journey and you know emotions are not always just positive ones you know you can't always be happy all the time but sometimes even I get frustrated even though quite a lot of people think how Kira you're always happy and smiley and chatty which is true but no it's if I get a speeding ticket in swimming or if in swimming again if we have a relay and our team doesn't do very well I can get quite frustrated at that but also in cycling my other sport if I don't do very well sometimes I can get frustrated at that and also some people ask me questions or give me instructions that I don't quite understand sometimes that can be quite difficult to understand but that's okay to be not okay about it but do you think me I should use that negativity and blame it on other people no and I think that's the thing like you know so I've got the chatties card for that so frustrated and I'm like you, I get frustrated sometimes and when I'm working with other people I can get frustrated because 
I think um, if we can't control something and it's not coming from us, sometimes we can get frustrated with other people uh, or like you, I like to do my best and sometimes I can get frustrated at myself as well. So it's, it's, it's okay to be frustrated, but it's not okay to take it out on other people. That is so true. And sometimes as well, I will give indicators to people about how I'm feeling. So I might say I need to have some space. Sometimes I might end up pacing or listening to music. And sometimes it might mean I need someone to get involved and sort out the situation just because I can't quite handle it myself. But it's okay to say that, you know, okay. And also you've got the chatties card there, Neve. I know I remember we spoke about it last session. And it's a great way to show people how you're feeling without needing to say something. Yeah, absolutely. Because sometimes we struggle to find the word of how we're feeling. And these chatties cards are great because you can have these or there's little, there's smaller ones that can go in a key ring. And it's nice sometimes to be able to kind of, if you can't say, you don't have the words what it is, you could show somebody how you're feeling, which is quite good. Is it okay to be angry? Yes. It is okay to be angry. I think everybody gets angry at some point, don't they? And it's okay to have that emotion because it's an emotion that we feel and it's an emotion that um, everybody goes through at some point. Mm -hmm. well, as you said before, it's not good to take our frustration out on other people, but what can we do if we're feeling very frustrated? Yeah, if we're feeling very frustrated, so you talked about taking yourself away and I I sometimes have to take myself away as well and breathe or um, reflect. So like it, something might happen and I might be quite frustrated or quite angry, um, but it's good to think to yourself, OK, I'm just going to take myself away from this situation for a second, do a little bit of breathing, some of those tips that you gave us in the last few weeks and just kind of really think about it from my point of view, but also the other people's point of view as well. And yeah, just uh, come up with some ways of relaxing, calm myself down if I'm being frustrated or angry and realizing that I can't take that out on other people. That I have to work together with other people to help us um, feel better about the situation. And that's great because now everybody knows how to stay calm, especially when you're in that mindset of not being quite happy or being able to be in control. But no, just say thank you for everybody for joining our last week, you know, our journey up to this point. But just to remember that you can always use a stress ball if you are feeling frustrated or a pair of socks. Also with your deep breathing, you can wind your wind use your windmill or a tissue if you don't have a windmill but that's okay and also as well is remembering that we have a positive jar about reminding ourselves to use positive affirmations and you can also make your own positive jars as well because if you have some spare jars lying around the house you can use that to help remind us and also it's a visual way to remind yourself that once you're in you know, that your mindset of not too sure how to calm down from this you could also look at the jar and it can help you by taking out the piece of paper you wrote down as a positive thing. Also doing some exercises and some stretches like we did. We did a bit of arm movement inside with our legs, with our shoulders and our back, which is always a great way to do. And just remember to do send in your recordings and videos and photos of you having a positive time, but also the activities that we've given you, all these techniques, please do send through those to us. And remember that, you know, support isn't just always physical, it is mental and emotional, and it's about understanding how to use your emotions and your feelings. So please take care, everybody. Thank you, Neve, and bye for now. Thank you.